investigating a series of arson attacks in one Lauder Hill neighborhood. Residents keep finding their cars have been set on fire. And they are just sick of paying for these repair bills, and they want this arsonist caught. Local 10's Trent Kelly is live now with more from this neighborhood. Trent. Yeah, Louis Christie, you know, the damage to most of these cars is certainly repairable, but it's the frequency of these possible arson attacks that has neighbors out here really worried. Follow me and you'll see one of the cars that was hit overnight. These flames charring up the hood and coming dangerously close to the owner's home. Everything was flamed up. Everybody running around trying to put the fires out. Multiple cars going up in flames overnight just steps away from Sharia Wilson's Lauder Hill home. People was just, and we were all just running around patting and trying to get the fires out, throwing water, and it was real scary. It all happened overnight as neighbors along Northwest 14th Street were fast asleep. At least three cars belonging to Wilson were all torched, and it's not the first time it's happened. The first time they came, it was two vehicles that was caught on fire. And then five days later, they came in the backyard of our roof was on fire. Our cameras were here last month after another suspicious car fire erupted on the very same street. The flames in that case nearly igniting a home. This doorbell camera footage appears to show another incident happening right down the road. Every time they come, we're sleeping. We're in here sleeping real good and they're out here setting our stuff on fire. And that's not all. These very same neighbors say at least three other cars were also targeted back in 2019. They say they won't be resting easy until this culprit is caught. It's very annoying and it's scary also because we have kids in the house. Yeah, very scary indeed. Now at this point, we know police have opened up a possible arson investigation into all of these cases. But aside from that, details on that investigation are very limited at this point. Right now, this homeowner tells us she's just hoping the suspect gets caught before anyone in this neighborhood gets hurt. That's the very latest from Lauder Hill tonight. Trent Kelly, Local 10 News.